Good evening. Welcome to an online reading of the Order for Compline, the last service in the Episcopal Prayer Day. This reading is sponsored by Emmanuel Episcopal Church in Webster Groves, Missouri. My name is Sandy Cooper and I am a member of this parish. We are so very glad that you are with us to pray this order together. Before we begin, I wanted to tell you about a saint of whom I had never heard, whose feast day is today, February 8th. Her name, which is called Saint Josephine Bakhita, B-A-K-H-I-T-A. She was born in 1869 in what is now Sudan. Uh, and she lived until 1947, uh, where she passed in Italy. She was born to a prosperous family, but around the age of eight, she was captured by Arab slave traders, forced to walk barefoot for 600 miles, and then she was sold into slavery. Because of this trauma, she couldn't remember her name, but she was named Bakita, which translates the fortunate one by her Arab kidnappers. And then she was forcibly converted to Islam. Bakita was sold a number of times and treated incredibly cruelly. In her autobiography, she says that in certain families, not a day passed without another physical wound. She was finally purchased by an Italian family and relocated to Italy as a nanny to their daughter. At some point, the mother returned to Sudan to join her husband, and she left her daughter and Bakita at a Karasian sister's convent in Venice. And there, Bakita encountered Christianity for the first time. And when her supposed mistress returned to take her back to Sudan, and Bakita did not want to go, the church appealed to an Italian court. The court said that because Britain had outlawed slavery in Sudan before Bakita was even born, and because Italian law did not recognize slavery as e legal, therefore Bakita had never legally been a slave. She was immediately baptized in 1890 as Josephine Margaret Fortunata, which is Latin for uh, Bakita, the fortunate one. Josephine took her final vows as a nun in 1896, and she spent the rest of her life, 42 years, in northern Italy, where she became known for her sanctity, gentleness, and ever-present smile. She was always out among the villagers. During the years of the war, from 1939 to 1945, the townspeople felt protected by her presence. Although they were bombed, no one died. She was referred to as Moretta, Little Brown Sister, or Madre Moretta, the Black Mother. The first publication of her story in 1931 made her famous throughout Italy, and when she died, thousands came to pay tribute to her. She was canonized as St. Josephine Bakita in the year 2000. Later, she was adopted as the patron saint of Sudan and of human trafficking survivors. So, in thanksgiving for the life of this woman. Let us take a moment and then begin reading the Order of Compline. Lord Almighty, grant us a perfect night, a peaceful night, and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive us all our offenses, 
and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins in the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now let us read two pages later, Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now a reading from the book of Jeremiah. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions, either silently or aloud. I pray for my neighbor, Judy, who has bioduct cancer, which is very, very serious. Ask that you keep her close to you as she finishes her chemotherapy. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and to sleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for reading this order with us tonight. May 
we be at peace and serene for the rest of this evening. Until the next time.